Hi there, my name is Jackie Decker. This is a video about using manipulatives to help students build conceptual understanding. And it's mainly about this question, why do we begin with concrete materials? All math topics, whether students are making 10 or trying to understand fractions, all of those topics are made more accessible to students when we begin with concrete models. This might be manipulatives like square tiles or linking cubes or pattern blocks, but it might be paper folding. When students move, manipulate, and compare concrete materials, they make sense of the math so they can understand the reasons and the why behind the rules. Throughout our Minds Online resource, you can find many examples of how you might integrate manipulatives into your teaching program. You'll find those in presentations and different lesson examples in each strand within the elementary topic here. And within secondary, if you click each strand, you will find Google slideshows, and short videos about how you might incorporate manipulatives into the secondary curriculum to help students better access those concepts and ideas. Finally, if you're looking to build student fluency with number and to build their number sense, fluency games and activities under number sense enumeration here in the elementary section of our resource have a number of games that use manipulatives within the game to build that number sense. We understand that many of us did not learn math using manipulatives. So we might have to relearn some of that math to make it more accessible for our students. As educators, we know that we're always learning anyway. There are videos about each manipulative and they are coming soon to help you with that learning. In the meantime, if you check out the Minds Online resource under professional learning, there is an area with some slide decks from some after school learning series about how you might use manipulatives in your classroom. We want our students to be able to understand and apply abstract ideas. And when this learning begins with concrete materials, we see that more students actually access the learning. It's by connecting that concrete to more symbolic or algebraic expressions and representations that allows those abstract ideas to become clearer to all students. And we also know that students who understand the algebra the concrete materials can actually offer a challenge to those students who need it. You can find activities that help students make these connections by using manipulatives with thinking routines like always, sometimes, never, and concept circles in our Minds Online resource. There's a short video explaining how to use each one and how you might incorporate manipulatives along with the thinking routine. We know that our students learn more deeply when they're curious and when they have an interesting problem to think about, to talk about, and to debate. We can intentionally choose or develop an open and interesting task using manipulatives based on the topic you're hoping your students will learn, maybe something like this. Then we can ask our students questions like, what do you notice? What do you wonder? To tap into their curiosity and get them talking about the math. You can find questions like these throughout the Minds Online resource and also in any Marion Small book, which are found throughout our system in all of our schools. We know that spatial reasoning is a predictor of a student's future success in both literacy and math. And the good news, spatial sense is malleable. We can all improve our spatial reasoning skills through practice. The most effective way to improve spatial awareness is when we build and visualize two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes in interesting ways. Using manipulatives, students are building their spatial awareness by comparing concrete models to a visual image or a diagram, thinking about the different perspectives, and scaling down or scaling up and connecting their models to a mental picture. You can find some activities like this in our Minds Online resource under Geometry and Spatial Sense. The fact that we can all develop better spatial awareness is good news for students and for adults, especially if you're an adult who gets lost a lot and struggles with maps. We also know that the use of manipulatives is an expectation of our curriculum. The power of manipulatives is summarized in the front matter of both our elementary and secondary documents. We know that concrete materials help students access the math and build understanding, and it also helps them remember the math and communicate their thinking to others. What is it that students learn concretely? Well, concrete materials, as shown by this small example, from one small piece of the curriculum continuum. Concrete material should be used to introduce any new concept so students can explore and build their conceptual understanding before they move on to a visual and then a more abstract understanding and representation. And we also know when numbers get bigger or the concept gets more complex, the learning has to go back to the concrete because it's through the connection students make 
between the concrete, the visual and the algebraic models that the deep learning actually happens. The first page in each grade of the elementary curriculum document actually highlights all new learning and learning to higher number. This is where students should definitely be using manipulatives to be introduced to these new ideas. How we might use concrete materials, you've seen many examples throughout this video, but there will be new videos coming soon about how to use each specific manipulative to help students build understanding. Keep an eye out for those. Thanks for listening.